All right, everyone. Now that I finally have some time to myself, I can do a video. Things have been really wild lately. James Hetfield suffered a breakdown. Whew, that was just something else. Uh, luckily, there was a lot of support for him. We saw the suicide of the Black Dahlia murder singer Trevor Stamad. I hope I pronounced his last name right. I own two albums by the Black Dahlia murder, but I'm not going to go ahead and show them this in this video. I want to get going on my, my most uh, recent purchase. Also, I'm glad to see that Death Fest took place recently. Hypocrisy and Deicide were two of the bands. I know that. I was very shocked to hear that a 24-year-old committed suicide at Death Fest. So, he must have been having some real problems. That's all I can figure. If you're going to do that at a concert we we all feel bad for his parents my mom told me after the big eclipse that things were gonna get really fucking wild all right now let me go ahead and get started with uh, my newest additions Starting off as a band I always want to keep my eye on. Dark Funeral. Yeah, trip to half, pi half price books really paid off. I'm really happy. It's a live album. Okay. Live in 2003. Am I reading that right? Yeah. Next, a band called Exhumed. And we see uh, pictures of the band. How oh, this fucking light. Okay. Oh, that's better. Now the glare's not there. Yeah. And if you look at these pictures, they're pictures only a mother could love. All right, next up, Ancient. Yes. Proxima Centauri. Tell you what, let's do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, now we have a fucking clear shot here. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and redo the other CDs in the video. Yeah. Oh, all that. Here we go. Dark funeral again. Yeah, finally some clear shots. I will, okay, I will now fucking remember. I will now fucking remember to shut off my two desk lamps when I do videos. Let's put it that way. Okay, moving on. Suicidal Tendencies. 
join the army. I checked out this album on YouTube years ago and actually liked it. So when I saw it at Half Price Books, yeah, why not? I got Art of Rebellion when I was in 8th grade. That's when it came out. And I absolutely hated that album. The cover, the album cover was amusing, but every fucking note on that album sucked. So I was surprised that I, I liked anything else by this band. I'm not that big on punk. Okay, moving on. Ah, oh, here we go. Demu Borgare. Yeah, I heard this album years ago. Wasn't big on it, but figure I'll give it a second chance. And yeah, I know everyone likes the original black and white album cover best. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's got bonus tracks. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. M moving on. God damn. Okay, moving on. Two by Arch Enemy. Yeah, let's get some close-ups here. Yeah, and one of them had this concert ticket inside. Um, yeah, makes me kind of feel bad I didn't keep all my other concert ticket stubs, stubs from the past. I've seen tri I saw Trivium once, and I saw Arch Enemy back in 2003 on stage with Hatebreed, Skin Lab. And the headliner, Slayer. All right, moving on. A band you can't go wrong with, Crotch Angren. Yeah, here we go. God damn, they put the half price price tag over the silver sticker. God damn it. Okay, moving on. Obituary. And I believe this is a reissue. A remaster. Yeah, it's a remaster. Yeah. Can never have too many copies of obituary albums. Anyhow, moving on. Uh, ah, here is Gorgoroth. Whoops, Gorgoroth. Twilight of the Idols. Yeah. Okay. And to finish off this video, Weird Al Yankovic. This is a first press. When it comes to Weird Al, reissues are fine, but I'm big on first presses. So I got to get everything that's a fucking first press. All right, everyone. And that wraps up my video for June. And I got a payday is coming up on Friday. I'll see if I can order more stuff. And thank you everyone for watching. That is all. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah. Sorry, everyone, for having trouble adjusting my camera.